Hello my soccer universe. I want to go a little bit more bang 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 with my review videos uh, but it was an overwhelming day today <laughs> and you will see in the next few weeks why so a little bit late with that one but you know Serie A we have our first sensation <laughs> of the season we also have to of course again talk a little bit about the loss of the face of the league and what this means and yeah uh, some other interesting games that happened um, I would say let's jump in uh, I saw Hellas play Inter and I was actually a little bit hoping that the game will continue like it did in the first half where Inter actually started well but then with the first chance Illich scores for Hellas a uh, very bad mistake playing out from the back from uh, Inter and Inter then couldn't get anything going anymore and Hellas was more or less very happy to um, continue pestering, pestering Inter. However Inter right after half, La Lado Martinez gets the equalizer. I think he had, had, had it in, and then a super substitution by Simone Inzaghi who brings on newly acquired Correa, who scores two goals on his debut for Inter. Of course, he knows uh, Inzaghi very well, having played uh, for him at Lazio. So Inter kind of turns it around. And I have to say now, one can say Inter of the four um, halves that they've played, three were actually quite convincing. The one thing that was a little bit sad satisfaction is that John Noglu made his usual disappearing act. Uh, here it was shown. Again, speaking of Lazio, I mean, we don't need to talk about the goal throw between Atalanta and Bologna. Um, Spezia take the lead at Lazio, but within a minute, Immobile e equalized and scores another one, misses a penalty uh, in stoppage time, but from the ensuing corner kick, he scores it. And, uh, you could see how he wants to score it. So he gets the first half hat trick. And then they had three more through Anderson, Husey, uh, and Luis Alberto. So a uh, pretty convincing win for the Laziali overall. And uh, they are flying, as we'll see, to the top of the table with that one. Uh, in the evening, I had then the choice to watch uh, either Fiorentina or Juve, or uh, Fiorentina Torino or Juve Empoli. I decided. It's probably better to watch Fiorentina and Torino. It's a little bit more of an even matchup. Maybe we'll get something a better game out of it. And I have to say it was not a bad game. Um, where Fiorentina took the lead through uh, Gonzalez, then uh, doubled it through a, a great uh, goal taken by Vlahovic. A little bit later on, Verdi, close to, close to the end, pulls one back. And you see Fiorentina being nervous, although being largely the better team over the time. It ends 2-1 for Fiorentina. However, I probably should have watched Juve Empoli. I saw the half that Empoli is leading 1-0 uh, through a goal from Mancuso, but I actually expected Juve to turn, turn around. And now everyone will say, yeah, Ronaldo leaves and Juve is, uh, is losing. I'm not so sure it's all down to Ronaldo. This is some early hiccups and, you know, uh, they need to get used to Allegri. I will my damnedest to discount Juve already that early in the season. I actually think this might be an early hiccup, but the season is very, very long and you might very well come back from this and snatch another title. It's just early aches and everything needs, needs to get going. I said in my Ronaldo video uh, that I actually think this might help you because now the um, burden can be shouldered on many more players and for Allegri, who is anyway more of a pragmatic systems coach, I think he will enjoy not having such a um, all-encompassing superstar in his lineup. However, what they showed against Eppoli was not all that great. Let's let's not uh, make it nicer than, than, than it was, but I don't want to yet put gloom and doom all over Juventus. Uh, it's way too early in the season, and I've seen Juve come back from bad starts uh, to win championships. So, hold the horses by putting a swan song um, on Juve. However, we have the first upset, uh, big upset of the league campaign. We 
almost kind of would have gotten a second one uh, when Genoa took on Napoli. Yes, Napoli was better in the first half. Uh, Fabian Ruiz uh, scores a deserved lead. But then a uh, goal that they had was given from uh, Goran Pantev was um, disallowed in the 54th. And it was kind of a close call. You mean you see the Genoa uh, attacker jumping up into Meret. However, it's just, I mean, if Meret, if it's just a fraction later, Maybe Meret will get to, to the ball or so on. So, uh, it, was, it was a tough decision to make. Probably the right one, but yeah. So Genoa is denied that equalizer. However, they get it then uh, 15 minutes later through uh, Cambias, so local boy. And you think, yeah, Napoli is going to lose now uh, points. And despite having won against Venezia, it was a rough showing. Uh, and also... Here it was the first half good, the second half I did not see much. But then Petania comes on. Petania, who everyone says he might actually be leaving uh, Napoli with his first touch in the 84th, he heads it in. And Napoli gets the winner and also start get the perfect start there. For me, then it was all about Milan against Cagliari. Uh, and I have to say, I was very impressed by Milan. I mean, I already was cursing Lau early on when he missed a big chance, but then fortunately a um, wonderful Tonali free kick, his first goal for Milan, sets Milan uh, seemingly on the way. However, they concede just a few minutes later, and I'm you know, just having uh, seen last clues to read, I thought, is this again be one of those evenings where the where calorie will just ruin my day completely? No, Lau comes back. It hit the butt cheek of... Um, Brahim Diaz, so you might give him the goal as well, but I think Serie gave it to Leao and it is 2-1 Milan and from that moment on it was all Milan who really played great and scored two more goals, both by Giroud, the second one a penalty and yeah, Ibrahimovic was uh, watching on uh, thinking will I have a space in the squad probably, maybe he will, I think the two of them will exchange and I'm actually a little bit um, curious how the dynamic will work. I also think um, I don't like how the way the Cassier uh, situation is going. Please, if you say you love Milan so much, please sign the contract for the money that is allotted to you. That's what I, I, I don't like, the Cassier signing for me. It's one of the main signings that Milan has to do because I think you can build upon Cassier. And then, as I'm wearing Roma, you could all already have guessed, I actually chose Roma this time on purpose because um, the goals that they scored were really good. First half, not much to talk home about, but second half, Lorenzo Pellegrini gets, gets it going and then a second goal uh, of Vere 2 was a wonderfully play, played goal. Um, I think it was Pellegrini, Mkhitaryan, Vere, Vere 2, uh, watch it. Excellent. Excellently played, uh, one touch football at its finest, and that's coming from a Mourinho team. And then Tammy Abraham also gets on, on the scoring sheet with a thundering shot in the 69th minute, and so it's all uh, through for Roma. Uh, the Salatana fans kind of, yeah. It will probably be a tough season for Salernitana, and then Pellegrini adds another one in the 779th. Pretty big route, and I think for Roma extra sweet because you know the Lazio president also owns Salernitana, so this was kind of a mini Roman derby. Uh, so after two rounds, we have a total of five teams that had a perfect start so so far, and also scoring goals along the way. Uh, I mean, Na Napoli four uh, with goal the uh, difference of four 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 one. That's Actually, also not, but of course, Lazio scoring six is the big win, and already in the first um, round, scoring three against M M Empoli. I think Lazio will be a fun team to watch unless they play against a favorite team of yours. I'm quite happy with the start of Milan, Inter, Roma, all well on, on, on the way. Um, if we look now, you will, of course. 12 uh, on, the, on the bottom, all teams that we kind of would have expected, maybe, maybe. Hellas could, could, could have got a point, but it's too early in the season, so let's go expect the standings. And if you were only picking out one point from the first um, two games, 
Into Saddle is the overwhelming favorite. I would hold my horses a little bit on that to be honest, but you know, um, Inter and Juve are given the biggest rating, so I can see that a five point gap might actually do something. And you can see it's literally the five points that they have the gap now. The teams are more or less head to head, so you would expect them, if they really had to, had to, to be the same amount of points going forward. However, we have seen it before. I don't. I think it's way too early to call Juve out. I say it once again. Um, I actually think that Milan, despite having not a gold rating, I really, really think fourth place. If they continue playing like this, yes, it was only Sampdoria. Yes, it was only Carga earlier. But I like so far what I've been seeing. Uh, after the international break, we come back with some quite interesting games. But I don't know exactly when they will be played. But uh, games like Milan against Lazio sticks out like a sore thumb, Napoli against Juve, so that is already a big one for Juve, to be honest, um, and we also have, um, I think, Roma Sasa, so has always been kind of a fun game um, out there, so uh, Intel plays some Doria, and just for completeness sake, uh, what else did I see, Atalanta, Fiorentina, okay, that's maybe not, ah, Lazio, bless you, Milan. I said it already. That will be the big one, and I'm a little bit afraid of that game, very honestly. Uh, I'm actually not too unhappy that this comes right after the international break. So in any case, let me know what you thought about the Serie A action this weekend. Drop a line below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!